everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps, and this is our travels. Let's take a look inside. XYZ Game Labs was nice enough to send me a free copy of this game to review. I have talked to them at length about it, so I know sort of how the game is played and what's in here, but this is my first time opening the box. So let's take a peek and see what's inside. I'm so excited. Oh look, it starts off with a pattern to make an octopus. How fun is that? It's an octopus pattern and it's a full crochet pattern, but I'm not gonna show you the whole pattern because that would be cheating, right? Um, then there's a little booklet, it looks like, of other games from XYZ Labs, so you can try all the different games that they make, including this one. Here is our rule book, which I'll go into more in depth because since I looked at the prototype of this, there have been a lot of changes and additions, so I'm not sure that I knew, know all of the details yet. In here we've got 18 pattern tiles, different patterns you can make from teddy bears and mittens and scarves. Cool, and it tells you how to make them. These are, these are the patterns, so it's, it's not really a pattern pattern, but it says you need three balls in two different colors to make a pair of mittens. That's, that's the pattern for the pair of mittens, right? So let's set those aside. Then here are tokens you get when you actually make the thing. Um, this might be a first player token, or it might just be here to fill space as a logo. These are extra counters for it. You, if you start to run out of the actual yarn tokens, you can trade in three blue tokens for one of these to show that you have three balls of blue yarn. So these are the different things you can make. All of that's going to have to get punched out. Then we've got over here, this is what I was very excited about. The game comes with a game trays. Normally game trays are extra add-ons that you buy separately for the various games. And what they are, it's a company, the company's called Game Trays, that makes these lovely trays that are perfectly fitted for the items that are in the game. So this is neat that it comes with one already. Um, there's Game Trays logo, it's just included in the box. And that is a great, great feature, trust me, when it comes to putting things away. This is so much easier than all those tiny little bags. Speaking of tiny little bags, here are all of our nice wooden tokens. So to start with, there are player action tokens. Now, I believe each one of these matches up to a symbol on a player board. So each player probably gets one of these to indicate what, what action they're taking at the moment. This cat, there is an event that happens in the game where basically a cat comes in and messes up your yarn. So <laughs> this cat was just a fun add-on. This was a Kickstarter um, stretch goal, I believe, that this cat, it can come and you can actually like hang the cat on your cat bowl, to, on your uh, yarn bowl to say that the cat is messing with your yarn. So that's kind of cool. Um, so these are our nice action markers. And then these, of course, this is the yarn. This is what you're trying to collect. This is what it's all about. Your different colors of yarn are what you need to fill those orders. So when you go shopping at the bazaar, you collect different colors of yarn. This is silica, do not eat. Hey, I have to show you everything in the box, right? These are your yarn bowls. You can see they've got the little design where it would normally be cut out for yarn to be fed through and stuff. So it's kind of neat. It's a little yarn bowl to store your yarn while you're working. Um, so as you collect these yarn tokens, you would store them in your yarn bowl. And then the little cat can come and mess up your yarn in your yarn bowl. Okay, so next we have the game board. Um, so I think this is where you go shopping. Like this is where the cards are that tell you what yarn you can get. Um, and probably special orders to fill down here and things like that. Um, I'm guessing one of these is a discard pile. Maybe there's two different rows of items, but we will see all of that in the rules. This is the main game board that everybody shares. And look at the colorful yarn on the back. That's so cool, I love that. You never see this, right? It's on the table, it's folded when you put it away, but to take the effort to do that and just make it pretty, I think is really cool. Just one of those little extras that makes you appreciate the game more, right? So here are the individual player boards. And remember I said that these match up, like this symbol here, this yarn cone is the same as, 
<clears throat> that yarn cone there. Um, so I really do believe that each player is going to get one of these for their, their board to mark what their actions are. This looks like the shopping cards I was telling you about, where you pick a card and that's the yarn balls you get from the market. So these are the cards. There's more cards here. And then there is a player aid that shows you the different phases of the game. And then finally we have here the project cards. So this is where you fill orders and sell it for points. And I think these are the points that you want to collect to win the game. And that's all the components that are in here. The trays look really nice. There's places for everything and it looks like it all goes back together very easily here. And that is Arch Ravels by XYZ Games. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or leave me a comment. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching.